The Santiago Airport in Chile is set to become the first in Latin America to use green hydrogen for all its ground transport operations. Chilean officials on Tuesday signed an MOU with prominent French and home companies to bring about this change by 2025. And the company which operates the airport was also a part of the agreement. Take a look at this report. With climate issues dominating the mainstream debate for some time now, we have started seeing the inflow of a whole range of environment-friendly products. From air conditioners to cars, from paints to carry bags and from clothes to gadgets, all now come with an eco-friendly variant. Although one thing still missing from the list is aircraft. Commercial aircraft still run on carbon-emitting fossil fuels with no major alternative as of now. Two years ago, Airbus made an announcement that it could put a zero emissions plane on the market only by 2035. Today, airplanes are one of the most polluting transports, but in the future, it will not be like that. In order to join non-polluting aircraft within the country and connect it to the rest of the world, the decisions for 2035 or 2040 have to be taken today. Hydrogen is being seen as an alternative to fossil fuels. Apart from being eco-friendly, it is also regarded as a more efficient fuel. It is obtained by a process called electrolysis of water that separates hydrogen and oxygen. When electrolysis is done using electricity from green sources like solar or wind, it is called green hydrogen. In the airport at Santiago, every step in the process is assigned to a different company. Chilean company Colburn has been given charge of building the necessary infrastructure including photovoltaic cells and their installation on rooftops and on ground. The electricity thus generated will be used to obtain hydrogen by a French company, Air Liquid. Finally, another home company, Copec, will be in charge of distributing the green fuel for the vehicle. The ultimate goal here is to be able to supply aircraft with the green fuel by 2035. With steps like these, Chile may well be on track to fulfill its climate commitments, which include reducing emissions by 40% by the end of this decade and going carbon neutral by 2050. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.